Congratulations, class of 2023. You are months away from becoming Claremont High School juniors. Uh, we wanna take a few moments to talk to you about the course selection process and where to find all of the resources on selecting the most appropriate courses for your junior year at CHS. Uh, course selection information can be found two different places, the CHS website and the sophomore Canvas page. Both the website and the Canvas page have the same information, same resources and links. It's just whichever works better for you. You can find the link to the course selection site on the CHS website in the guidance section. The direct link has also been sent to you as a Canvas message. On the website, there's an electronic course selection tutorial video that we highly recommend watching before completing the course selection form. Just below that video are some frequently asked questions and the counselor office hours for course selection. To the right are links to the course selection form and other resources. These resources are designed to help students make the best decisions when selecting classes. The Canvas page holds the same resources as the CHS website, including links to all the same videos and documents. You can access the course selection form through either website, but do not need to use both. So here in front of you are the Claremont High School graduation requirements and University of California, um, California State University and admission requirement comparisons. It also has the NCAA uh, requirements on here as well. That magic number that I like to call it for graduation is 220 credits. Uh, with each semester of high school, you have the opportunity at 30 credits, which means by the end of your senior year, hopefully you'll already be at about 240. So we have you covered on that. Specifically, let's go through what you will need for graduation. For social science, for Claremont High School, you will need one full year of world history, which you're in right now. Next year, you guys will be taking US history. It might be US history, it could be AP US history, or it might be IB HODA. This will all fulfill that requirement. You also need one semester of economics um, and one semester of government. Now for the UC and the Cal State, it's very similar. You need those requirements as well. For some of you, you might use that government and econ as a G elective that we'll get into in a little bit. English, it's the same across the board. You need four years minimum of an English uh, class. Now, the biggest difference between a uh, California um, university requirement and the high school requirement is for high school, a passing is a minimum of a G. For that four-year college, we have to have C's in that class. If for some reason you didn't, please make sure you're speaking with your counselor when you meet with them to try and ask them questions about how you should proceed and if there's any summer school available to make up a course. For mathematics, you need two years for high school graduation. One of them must be integrated math one. Um, and then for a four-year college, you need three total years of three total years of a um, math and it needs to go up into at least integrated math Three. For science, one year of biological science, which is typically next generation biology for our students, and then one year of physical science, which is either physical science or next generation chemistry for our students. For that college requirement, though, it must be that next generation chemistry or another lab physical science. For world language, this is one of the biggest differences between a graduation requirement and a four-year college requirement. The biggest difference here is at Claremont High School, you need either or. So you can have either um, a world language or an art or a CTE career technological course to fill that. For a four-year college, you have to have a minimum of two years of a world language, and then you need a minimum of one year of a fine art requirement. For graduation, you have to have your physical education. Again, students must have um, 20 total credit credits of PE. All, all of you as freshmen had 10 credits of PE. And now you can either take another PE class, which you might have already taken, uh, or you might be getting it through sports, which is 2.5 credits per season of a sport that you have completed. Electives, elective credits, 
add up very quickly. So for graduation, let's say you take another English class, sorry, another world language class or another math class or another physical science class. Those will all start to add up as elective credits for um, graduation. The G um, requirement for a four-year college, now that will be, can also be some of those four-year bound classes or it can be other electives that we have to offer. Another thing that all students must have for graduation is that tech ed requirement must be complete. This can be done either through the challenge exam or it can be done through the tech ed class. Many of you might have already either taken the class here at CHS or at El Roble. The course description book provides detailed information about class offerings at Claremont High School. For questions regarding specific classes, we recommend referring back to the course description book. The CHS electives options sheet gives a brief detail on elective options available to students. You can view by course title, career sector, UC Cal State requirement, grades, and description. As you prepare for selecting your courses in your junior year, we want to encourage you to continue to take a rigorous schedule while finding balance. Colleges are looking at both your grades and the rigor of the classes you take. However, we encourage you to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses when selecting these courses. As a sophomore, you have the opportunity to enroll in college prep, AP, and IB classes. For more information on the IB program, we encourage you to attend one of many IB information sessions. Dates and times will be located on the school's website. Claremont High School offers several concurrent enrollment courses through a partnership with Citrus College. Concurrent enrollment courses offer credits at Claremont High School and transferable college credit units from Citrus College as well. In addition to selecting the courses on your course selection form, you will be required to complete the Citrus College concurrent enrollment process to be eligible to take these courses. The concurrent enrollment courses are very popular, so space is limited. Additional information can be found on both the CHS website and the Canvas page. You must complete the course selection form by March 9th. After March 9th, students will meet individually with their counselor. Appointments are scheduled by social studies classes. For more information, you can view both on CHS website and Canvas page. If you have questions regarding the course selection process, CHS counselors will be holding office hours from 1 to 2 p.m. on February 24th, March 3rd, and March 8th. The link to office hours can be found on the CHS website and the Canvas page. For students interested in joining the International Baccalaureate Program, you can access the IB Class of 23 Introduction Meeting Slides here and the IB Course Planner form here. It is important that students are prepared for their individual appointment with counselors. The schedule of individual appointments with counselors can be found here.